Hey friend, I want to chat about anger. Anger isn't something that we talk a lot about, right? Just that I got mad, I got frustrated, I got upset. But I want to ask you a question. And this is a question to keep in the back of your mind when you are mad, when you are angry, when you are frustrated. Who are you mad at? Who are you mad at? This is something that I often go back to when I'm upset, when I'm frustrated. Because in all honesty, I'm not mad at the thing, the person, the situation. If I'm really honest with myself, I'm mad at me. I'm mad at the choice I made. I'm mad at what I allowed. I'm mad at what I didn't do. I'm not mad at the thing. Whenever we are mad, frustrated, angry, it's often about something deeper inside of us. Something that we haven't expressed in some way. I was talking to a client a couple weeks ago and she mentioned to me a situation that she was having with her neighbors. And as she was telling me about the situation and the things that she had to do, and I asked her a couple of questions to help her look at the situation and to be honest with what it was really about. And when we got down to it, she wasn't mad at the neighbor. She wasn't mad at what they did. She wasn't mad about what happened. She was mad at the actions that she did. All we can control is ourselves. We can't control the outside world. We can only control ourselves. And so I want you to think about a situation where you were mad or angry or frustrated and a couple of days have gone by and you're still mad or angry. What is it or who is it that you're really mad at? Was she really mad at the neighbors doing what they did? As she talked about it a few days later and she needed to get it out and express it to see why she was really mad. She was really mad because of something that she didn't do, something that she's been working towards, something that she wants to do, but she stops herself because of all those thoughts that we have in our head about what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing, and all the imprinting that we've had over the years from our friends and our family and our society and our environments that have told us this is right and this is wrong. What is it? Who is it that you are really mad at? Go back to that question because it's always about you. I want you to consider this as you think about your past experiences, about when you've been angry and when you've been frustrated and what lesson there was for you to learn. It's in the lessons that we grow it's in the lessons that we awaken to our spiritual values. It's in the lessons that we learn to honor our best self. Have a great day, my friend. And remember, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and find 